We have a pretty exciting day today to talk about the 336EH hybrid excavator. Hybrid definition means taking energy, storing it, and reusing it. So we looked at the electric and we looked at hydraulic. And we're going to show you of, with our solution, what we designed or what we came out with was the best solution for our customers. Uh, three building blocks with this. We want to reuse energy, we want to optimize performance, and we want to conserve fuel. So as you can see, when you look at our hybrid excavator, it looks pretty similar to our standard machine. We want to use most of our main components that we can use off of our standard machine to maintain that durability, reliability, and performance from our customers to maintain that uptime. These are the three main components that we have that make our excavator a hybrid excavator. The first is we want to reuse. So as you can see, your swing braking, the accumulators are filling up. You swing the other way, it pushes, it goes right to the swing motor to help start it again. The next thing that we have, adaptive control system valve. What that does is it electronically controls all that hydraulic fluid going through that valve. So it knows exactly if it's boomed down, it can reuse that oil because it's a lot of pressure all that weight pushing that down, we can reuse it and put it in the top of the boom or switch it to the stick cylinder or wherever. It's taking that fluid and just rerouting it so it's not wasting that energy. If you look at this here, this is our new ESP pump. So electronic standardized programmable pump that is automatically knows to turn on and how much to turn off to maximize that power for performance. Most excavators or hybrids excavator in the marketplace, swinging is the only place where you save fuel. With ours, there, you save fuel in all these three main components that we talk about. First thing is, is we reduce our RPMs in our engine. So that lower RPMs, that's burning less fuel, that's putting less uh, emissions into the air. And then with using the electronic ESP pump, that is also reducing the load on the engine as much as possible. With our 336EH hybrid, you get up to 50% greater fuel efficiency. When you go to our 336E excavator, you burn up to 25% fuel. Uh, fully recyclable, quieter operation, uh, lower fuel consumption, and reduced carbon footprint. Uh, return on hybrid investment in as little as two years. We want to make sure that if the customer bought a hybrid, he was going to get his value, his money out of it. We had a 336D up on the face of the quarry doing quarry face work, so heavy ripping and loading of dump trucks to come down the haul road into the crushes. And the young operator said to me, he said, look, it's the hardest work the machine will ever do, what it's doing at the moment. He came out of the D, we took the D and sent it out into the field, put the new EH up on the face of the quarry, and the fuel is burning, I've actually got the stats here, it uh, averages out to about 20.8 uh, litres per hour is what we're burning, whereas he felt that it was probably 30, 34 before. One of the, the interesting quirky things with the 336, the amount of fuel that it, or CO2 that reduction that it generates is equivalent to taking 12 cars per year off the road. But already in, in, in the four units that we've delivered straight away, um, the fuel benefits that were being advertised are being realised. You've heard that direct from Brendan today. The guys that are boarding are wanting to buy more to the point that we're actually now leaning more to stocking of hybrids and with the other. With the, the 336E, our guys didn't even realise that they were pulling on a switch. So I think that's something they've done really well. You can get a guy, jump off one machine before Smoko and jump on the hybrid after Smoko and they've got, they can get straight in it and be productive in it straight away and there's nothing they have to get their head around. Through the need of emissions, but also product evolution and the, and the R&D investment we make, you're going to see, I think, for over the next two to three year period, a constant flow of next generation products coming to the marketplace. This is definitely you know, a massive step in the right direction. It's the biggest thing to happen in the excavator manufacturing since the, you know, the day the first excavator was invented. Basically, this is, this is huge.